giving her a bath. So, I don't usually bathe my silicones very often because it's not really that good for the paint, but we just had a bunch of friends over last night and they had never seen the baby room and so a lot of people were holding Eleanor specifically because they really liked how she felt real because she's squishy like a real baby and she was dressed and then I undressed her so they could see how she's squishy and full body and all that. And so since a lot of people were holding her and with the whole coronavirus, none of them are sick. Um, but I just thought we could give Eleanor a bath to kind of clean her off just in case she got germs on her. But they're not sick. I'm not sick. But I just thought since a lot of people were touching her, we could just give her a little bath. So that's what we're going to do today. She's undressed right now because, like I said, I took off her outfit for them to see. So we're going to give her a bath. I have her little towel here. I have a baby bath. And then we are going to get her powdered and changed when she comes back down. So I also have a waterproof diaper right here. It's this little whale waterproof diaper that uh, babies usually wear to like a beach or a pool or something, but we're gonna use this so we do not get demonetized because we can't show her little girl parts. But we're going to uh, put this on her and get her in the little baby bath. I am getting the water warm right now. Warm it up. Alright, so we are gonna put her in. So we're just gonna put her like this. And then I have a little washcloth so we can wipe her up. This one has a little ducky on it. Alright, so I'm just gonna give her a little rinse. because it doesn't feel like I should. But she's allowed to be wet. I'm not really like scrubbing her, I'm kind of pouncing her because I don't want to like drag her silicone in case I would tear it or peel any paint off. I don't think that would happen, but I don't want to give that a try. And I'm gonna flip her over so I can get her back too. her hair with a spray bottle so I don't really mind getting it wet. <laughs> but I'm not gonna like put any conditioner or anything in her hair. I should get some baby like soaps like baby conditioners. Oh <laughs> she looks so cute. Flip her over real quick so I can get her back. Sorry, little girl. Alright, just lay her like this for a little bit. Just so I can get her back very quickly. And then I'll do a little bit on her head, I guess. Get the back of her hair. Alright, that was like good enough. Her back doesn't really get touched as much, I guess. I don't know. Get her little hair. Yeah, it doesn't take long to bathe her. Because I really just gotta get her cleaned off. I don't use soap on her or anything. Just water. Now she's all rinsed off and she's gonna be all nice and clean. So we're actually gonna get her out. I have her towel real quick. And normally I would like uh, go off camera and clean underneath her diaper, but like she's not really dirty. I don't think she needs it. I don't know. I'm just gonna like, grab her. She feels so weird. <laughs> 
Now I just have her all wrapped up. I took off the, um, the diaper thing she was wearing because it was soaked. So I wrung that out. So I'm gonna like pat her dry and then we will bring her back down to the nursery so we can actually get her a little bit cleaner. Well, dry her better. So I have her in her little towel on this uh, changing mat that's like water resistant just so I don't get anything that's soft, kind of wet. So she's in this and I dried her off mostly up in the bathtub or in the bathroom. And then I have, um, her hair's still wet, but I have these little cotton swabs cause I'm gonna get like in her nose and her mouth and her ears and like just some creases to make sure there's no water. Creases should be water free. And now um, I'm going to powder her up. We have this baby powder and we can just wipe it on. Look at how cute this is. It's a miniature baby powder. It's like travel size. And then this is just a brush that came with Naomi for powdering. And so I just use it for both of them. And yeah, we're gonna do that. I'll get this much right here. I can't show her lower half, but I do want to powder that. So usually I'll just like put a little bit. I don't want a ton to come out, but like that's definitely not enough to get her belly. You know what? I can just edit a heart over her body. So now she's all powdered up and I'm going to put a diaper on her. So, and every time I do videos with like my full body babies, a lot of people ask me like, well, why do you have to cover up their private parts? We know they're dolls. Um, I know they're dolls, you guys know they're dolls, but it is still like considered, I guess, child pornography. So we can't <laughs> show that, so yeah. We just have to cover her up. And I don't know why some people just get so upset that I cover it because like, I don't know, it's a little creepy that you'd wanna see that anyway. But um, here we go. <laughs> so now her hair is pretty crazy, but I'm not gonna do her hair until after we get her dressed because I know it'll just get messed up when I put her outfit on. So I put her in this outfit yesterday and I think we're just gonna put it back on her because it's really cute. And I had put this on her with the intention of maybe bringing her out and so, um, yeah, I might do that. I wanna take her on an outing. It's a really cute outfit. So this sleeper is from Next. And, oh my gosh, <laughs> the sleeves are flipped inside out. So it's really colorful and it has all these little animals and stuff on it. Apples, rainbows, really cute. So we have that. And then I put this little um, sweater from the Baby Gap with that. And then I have these little pink scratch mittens a pink pacifier and a yellow headband. So she's all bundled up when she wears this outfit. Let's see. She's so cute. But I don't know, it's kind of nicer out. But if I took her out, I'd probably take her out a little bit later on in the day. I don't know, I feel like I'm more comfortable taking a baby out when it's kind of later. So it's not positive that I will take her out, but if I do, it would be later on. And if I do take a, take her out, I would do a video and that'll be posted at a later date. Oh, this is my little um, tips and tricks for you guys. If you have silicone babies or just even partial silicones, if you put little scratch mittens or socks over their hands and feet when you put their long sleeve or just any clothes on, it keeps all their fingers together and like all their toes together um, if they have separated fingers and toes. But like most of her fingers are together, especially on this hand. I think they're all together. On this one, her thumb is separate, but I just do that just to make sure they all get through it. I really like this hack for Naomi because um, she has all separate fingers and toes. So, or mostly, I know at least on one of her hands, all of the, 
all of her fingers are open and I think on her other hand a couple of the fingers are separate and then I think on one foot all of her toes are together on the other foot they're all separate so it's just really nice for Naomi especially that you just put it on because then it keeps all the little thingies and stuff together so they all make it through and none of them get stuck or like pulled because that could tear them here we go this looks so cute I like how colorful this is it's like nice and springy but it's still keeping her bundled up there we go so cute <laughs> Aw, she looks so sweet and then we're gonna put the little sweater on right on top Oh, usually I start with the other sleeve. I don't know why I did that. Here we go. <laughs> I love these little sweaters. I like pairing these with sleepers. I don't know, I just think it looks really cute if you pair these with sleepers. So, now we just wanna do her hair. Oh, I thought I brought a hairbrush over, I did not. I just use a baby comb when I do her hair. I feel like it gives the best results. I think I might have to spray it. It's kind of drying and I like to do her hair when it's wet. So cute and then it'll dry down a little bit lighter and she'll have some fluffy hair. She's kind of got like a little alfalfa curl at the top right there. There we go. Oh, she looks so sweet. And then I have this little pacifier for her. And she can take that whole thing really well. Now her forehead's wet. Let's see. Ooh, sorry. Let's pat her dry a little bit. There we go. So now Eleanor is all changed here we can take the towel out from under her and now it's just a changing mat this is supposed to like strap them in these little straps and you can go like this except I don't <laughs> we don't need her strapped oh no now I can't do it there we go nails <laughs> So, Eleanor is all clean, she's all changed, she's powdered, everything, she's so fresh feeling. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to wash your hands and stay safe from the coronavirus. Uh, my school is off for two weeks right now because of coronavirus, so I've got a lot of time, so I'll probably be making a lot of videos, which... It's a good thing. So if you don't want to miss any of them, make sure you subscribe and also follow my Instagram at Kelly Maple and at Kelly or at Kelly Maple IT and at Little Mouse Nursery because I'll definitely be posting there. And yeah, so I have a lot of time to be making babies and to make videos. So yeah, and if I do a video with Eleanor, you guys will see it. Um, it'll probably be the next video posted after this one if I do take her out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you later. Bye!